Hi Wildings, welcome to or welcome back to the Wilding Tarot YouTube channel where we will be doing intuitive tarot card readings for whenever you need it guys. Um, my name is Jade Rewilding and today I've been asked by my guides to channel messages regarding how your person is currently seeing you or perceiving you. Um, so this will be for any kind of situation that you're in. If you're in a situation ship, a relationship, no contact situation, a separation, like whatever it is, um, like early crush or, you know, whatever, <laughs> we're going to get some channeled messages regarding how your person is currently viewing you. Um, as always, I've left a brief description of each reading at the very, very bottom of the description box. If for whatever reason you're practicing some sort of self-care, like avoiding triggers or only opening yourself up to certain readings, um, or if you're not feeling like super connected to your intuition today, but you really want to receive a reading, um, you can always head there. Um, but for everyone else, I would strongly encourage you to... Um, Choose a pile based on where your intuition is pulling you and sending you. Um, remembering that um, your intuition might be sending you to more than one pile because there might be um, more than one set of messages for you here um, and or like potentially your particular situation might be a combination of two situations um, and may not be like as crystal cut as some of the others in this reading. Um, that's normal. So just really honoring whatever you're being drawn to, um, knowing that your intuition is super powerful and I'm sure it will bring you to the right place. Um, so whenever you're ready, going ahead and choosing either pile one, two or three to receive your intuitive channeled messages on how your person is currently seeing you. And I will see you wherever you end up in a moment. Hey there, Pile One. Welcome to your reading. Um, if you chose this beautiful orange crystal, then this reading is probably for you. Um, but as always, remembering to bring your own intuition and discernment to this general reading. Because um, there will be some messages here for specific people. Some messages that um, could be slightly altered for your situation. Um, if your energy deviates from the collective a little bit more than everyone else's. Um, so yeah, just remembering to um, check in with yourself um, to like confirm any messages and um, take what resonates, leave what doesn't and meditate on the rest. But let's get into your reading pile one. Okay, so we're first just going to get the general themes of your reading pile one. We yeah, have general themes of how Pile One's person is currently seeing them. Okay, that's an interesting card to start off with, the Provoker card. Y'all are provoking some shit in them, for sure. Okay, what else do we have? Okay, we have a lot here, so I'm just going to take the first and last cards. Okay. Um, pile one, so these are all very interesting cards. They're not really any of the um, kind of main energies in this astrology deck, I would say. They're kind of like much more general. Um, so we have the void, of course, of moon, um, which is like kind of like being in the void as in like <laughs> kind of dark at the moment. Um, and it also is like heavy, like kind of missing you energy. Um, Grand Trine is in astrology like the... Um, biggest indicator of blessings um so they're definitely seeing you as a blessing as well as probably a curse like the provoker energy is like super intense in terms of um like kind of drawing stuff out of you it's like a heavy like kind of mirroring your worst qualities kind of card um not your worst qualities i shouldn't say that i mean like more mirroring like your darkest shadows back to each other um we have some sevens and fours if those um numbers mean anything to you five and two reduces to seven um and then we have double four here and another seven there so yeah very interesting um but let's get more specific using our traditional tarot i'm just gonna relight this candle quickly first 
I usually have like a few candles burning off camera and I try not to have any of my candles from the previous day burning on camera unless it looks like they have heaps of wax left but yeah that one ran out really quickly but let's get some specific messages for you pile one regarding how your person is currently perceiving you Ooh, we got the lover's card. Be clarified this judgment energy. And this page of pentacles energy, please. And this queen of cups energy. Pile one, your person sees you as the most intense mirror that they have ever experienced in their life. Like this provoke a grand cross is like very prominent in this for them in terms of like that you are like provoking all of their kind of like past and triggers and karma and like just bringing so much up to the surface for them. And it is intense. However, they are also very aware with this grand trine blessings card coming out that all of this is serving their higher purpose and higher self and actually bringing them around to the best version of themselves, probably a version of themselves that they never even dreamed or imagined. Um, at the same time, like they're definitely having a very, like they're having a really hard time with this shift right now. And they're having a really hard time not blaming you for a lot of things. Like I think right now they're kind of like, at this kind of like tension where they're kind of like aware that they're trying to like shift things onto you and say that like essentially like it's because of you that all this stuff is coming up but really like deep down they know that it's just you mirroring all their stuff back to them um, and it has absolutely as much to do with them as it has to do with you so right now they're definitely perceiving this connection with a bit of a um like it's it feels very turbulent for them um, it feels transformative. Um, it, it feels like it's bringing up a lot of stuff, but it's also like kind of purging a lot of old patterns and cycles and like making space for a much better <laughs> reality, um, for themselves, for the future. Um, so yeah, this judgment card coming out in reverse, um, like the judgment card, like I think of as like judgment day like it, it can very much be a consuming um destruction card especially in the reverse polarity um so yeah right now a lot of thing, things are definitely crumbling for them and like they're really having to kind of explore their own stuff um the page of wands is like an earth fire energy it's cancer leo virgo um, so it has a lot to do with kind of like really exploring and analyzing your own like emotions and spirit. Um, yeah, I kind of think of Cancer as like being very reflective on emotion. Leo is being very reflective on spirit. And then Virgo being like kind of generally very analytical. So they're just like essentially like shedding a light on a lot of their stuff at the moment. And right now it's like creating like heavy like cons consumption destruction like energy um and i think for them right now they're definitely perceiving you as this high priestess energy um so the high priestess is essentially like the first feminine archetype it's like the feminine um energy before it manifests on earth and then is um like kind of distorted by our earthly um, assumptions and stories as a collective. Um, so instead of it kind of being that like Eve, Empress, like kind of divine mother energy, it's very much the kind of like witch archetype, the like black moon Lilith archetype. And like kind of, this is the feminine that like just cannot be messed with. Like she is so, um, she, is so connected to the unconscious and also like kind of um she's a very like uplifting of um 
consciousness kind of energy. She's like really the polarity between the unconscious and the conscious. Um, and they're definitely feeling that with you right now. They're kind of like experiencing you as both the light and the shadow. Um, and it's definitely like um, kind of creating this little bit of like, um, like I'm, I'm going to say fear. The page of pentacles is like a very earthly energy and like grounded energy um, because it's earth, earth and earth, <laughs> like it's earth v earth. Um, but yeah, this person's feeling very ungrounded based on like just the intensity of your energy. They're definitely not perceiving you as very um, calm. Like the Queen of Cups is like a water v water card. So it's like a very intense water card. Has a lot to do with like intuition um, and like love and unconditional love and commitment and um, support and all that sort of stuff. Um, but her shadow, like I always think of like kind of like a wild ocean, like when she's in her shadow, like it's just like so much emotion, so much like it's kind of like everything, <laughs> everything comes up when it comes to like psychic stuff, emotional stuff. Um, and yeah, like all of the emotion, it's just kind of like wild emotional energy. So yeah, they're definitely like this, I think is what we we're talking about earlier in terms of like them projecting things onto you. They're definitely projecting this kind of like idea of you being super like turbulent and unpredictable. Um, and I, I'm hearing that that's actually something from their past. Like, I think they grew up in an environment where they couldn't really trust the feminine in a way. Like, it felt very um, unknown to them, very wild, very kind of um, unruly. Um, and so, yeah, it's kind of like bringing up, like, stuff from their past and, like, fear and intimidation that's actually not really that much about you. Like, you might have that potential in you, but, like you're probably a lot more um, like in control and conscious of it than potentially the divine feminine um, people that they've met in their past, especially with this King of Pentacles energy coming out, clarifying it. Like this is very like kind of grounded, disciplined kind of energy. So I'm sensing that like the reality is like you're much more grounded in this um, like watery um, emotional energy but they're perceiving you as like wild because that's their experience from their childhood that they need to like kind of heal and look out and transform and understand that it's just that it's unfamiliar to them like the um the feminine's just not like like it's a part of them like we have both polarities within us but it's like your person's just much more in that masculine polarity that this feels very um, like unusual and um, they kind of need to understand it as in a way that's like separate. They need to be able to like understand that it's different to them, but no less valid. And like, it's just two different kinds of like wild of the self. Um, I think your person's probably quite, um, analytical and um like cognitive i'm getting um this knight of swords is um air of fire so it's just like kind of like very um i would say like masculine kind of thinking um and so they're like really just like having trouble like really interpreting this like queen of cups energy because it's so unfamiliar to them it's really not their like home polarity and so they're just like really having to like reshuffle a lot of things and like understand things in a different way and try and like they're trying to like find what within them they can use to relate to this energy and make it a lot less scary and unfamiliar um so yeah they're definitely trying they're like kind of searching for a way to like make it a little bit more relatable um but yeah it's very likely that your person sees you as a divine counterpart um either twin flame soulmate or just like some really high order um relationship the lovers card is really about using a relationship as a container for spiritual development um so when it comes out it usually has to do with higher order um kind of relationships like twin flame and soulmate because those kind of connections are really 
like designed to teach us a lot of things about like unconditional love and um like our real power as human beings um in the um artwork on some of the more traditional decks um you don't see the sun and the moon which represent the masculine and the feminine looking at each other they are looking usually up at god so it's like using a partner as a container um to get closer to god and so your person's definitely seeing that with you so like despite all this provocation that's coming up for them like they're definitely seeing you as a blessing they're seeing you as like the path to the divine um or their path to god um because you're bringing up a lot of their like past pains and so stories the five of swords is really about um kind of like falling on your own sword when it comes to your own stories about life um and yeah definitely some of their stories about this like kind of wild feminine is something that they're like really struggling with right right now but they know that it's all like essentially part of the path to liberate themselves um, and to become a like more full version of themselves. Um, yeah, this Knight of Wands is um, like a very, um, like it, it's, it's a very um, <laughs> like um, passionate, energetic kind of archetype. Um, and yeah, they're definitely like trying to find this within themselves. Um, but it's to, to find that energy within themselves, they really need to clear a lot of their, or like at least become aware of a lot of their stories and like really use this container as like a mirror to get them to that level and to get them to that like place of awareness for sure. Um, so yeah, they're definitely like overall, I would say they're definitely seeing this relationship as a vehicle for spiritual development for them. Um, if you guys are in separation, they're definitely missing you. If you guys aren't in separation, like this is super intense for them. They're just like really at this like kind of push pull energy in terms of like feeling like you're a blessing and feeling like you're just bringing up so much stuff for them. Um, but yeah, it's very interesting. But let's get some oracles for you, part one. Yeah, I think they recognize that this is all part of the journey for them um, to bring about a more like inspired way of living. Um, and definitely it's like your moon energy, like I was saying before, the moon represents the feminine in these relationships. Um, they're like really understanding the moon energy and like the feminine from like their whole life, especially potentially like the maternal figures that they grew up with. Like they definitely didn't understand them when they were a kid and probably the maternal figures they were around, like maybe weren't necessarily like super spiritual in their um, like cultivation of their moon energy. Um, but you were definitely much more of this high priestess archetype and much more like um like conscious and responsible of that moon energy so um like they're definitely like you being a mirror to them is definitely teaching them a lot about the feminine but also um like kind of rewriting their history so to speak about a lot of the stuff that they thought that thought certain things about from the past that actually turned out not to be true they were just like kind of misunderstanding the energy and like more from a place of whoever their maternal figures were would like misusing it yeah as i'm saying this is probably a twin flame connection like there's just like the higher order of this connection is just so obvious in like the cards that came out it's definitely bringing a new dawn for the two of you like you're really like kind of like destroying each other and destroying yourselves um to with the intention of being reborn from the ashes um and creating like a new like a new phase of this relationship regardless of whether you're together or in separation like it's very much about healing the inner child healing the past um and growing and like just healing a lot of stuff um i'd say for the both of you like a lot of the things that are coming up are like general feelings of not enoughness like i'd say your person probably blames that like it has internalized a lot of blame for the way that their maternal figures showed up for them in the past um 
and like made that about them and their not enoughness and yeah that's definitely a story that your person is like rewriting in all this um and so probably something that you're rewriting too in terms of like because you guys are like perfect mirrors for each other i'm sure like they're kind of mirroring to you like a much more pure like divine masculine um that maybe showed up is showing up for them like differently to how their um paternal figure showed up for them um so yeah you're both three writing each other's histories for sure yeah but this is a synchronicity with this void of course of moon this is the same card in this deck um so it's definitely a dark time for the two of you if you're together you're probably feeling like super distant from each other um and if you're in separation like this void probably more has to do with like feeling the pain of the physical distance um the dark moon is like the darkest point in astrology like i mean in the moon cycle sorry which is astrology but like i'm trying to be specific here um so it's like right before the new moon so like right before the break of the new moon um we experience the dark moon or the void um and that's probably where um the two of you are at right now like you're probably in the void or like you've just been through the void um, and are starting to come out the other side. Um, but yeah, this is a lot to do with like balance in terms of the divine masculine, divine feminine, like really learning how to balance off each other and like show up for each other, like really differently than how um, your maternal and paternal figures potentially showed up for you and what they taught you about um, like the connection and those dynamics but yeah emotions are definitely running high for the two of you right now they're definitely running very high for your person like they're just like trying to figure out a lot of stuff and it's getting very emotional um but yeah i think something that's probably like helping your person right now is like continuously looking at the big picture um by like reconnecting to the big picture and reconnecting to this like blessing energy and like understanding that um like all of this is to bring about the highest good for the two of you and the biggest like spiritual development that's really what's um keeping them going and um essentially like getting them through like just returning to the big picture whenever they're feeling like too provoked or too too mirrored or to projecting or you know whatever like definitely coming home to the bigger picture is helping them through this time like super cool reading guys <laughs> not gonna lie um but let's get an affirmation for you pile one what do we have for pile one in terms of affirmations okay i allow myself to let go and let the universe guide me and my life is filled with serenity. I exist in harmony. So they are affirmations to help you through this time. Um, so spirit is really asking you to surrender, um, especially to the guidance that the universe is trying to give you. Um, and like looking for harmony and peace and serenity within yourself. Um, and like kind of grounding yourself in that whenever you start to feel like super turbulent or, you know, whatever else. Um, but I think I'm going to leave that there, part one. I hope you got everything out of this reading that you really wanted and needed. Um, it has been a pleasure reading for you. My name is Jade Rewilding, and I'll be back on this Wilding Tarot channel for whenever you need it, guys. So if you can like, comment, and subscribe, that will help me stay on your feed for more readings like this, which I would really appreciate. But until then, ciao. Hey there, pile two. Welcome to your reading for how your person is seeing you or perceiving you right now. Um, so if you chose this beautiful purple crystal, then this reading is probably for you. Um, however, as always, taking what resonates, <laughs> leave what doesn't, um, and meditating on the rest. Because this is a general reading, meaning that there will be messages here for specific people. Um, and there may be some interpretations of the cards that could be slightly different for your particular situation. If your energy deviates from the collective a little more than everyone else's. Um, so as always, bringing your intuition and discernment to a general reading, um, to know what's for you, what's not for you, um, and what needs to be slightly altered to better fit your situation. But let's go ahead 
and get the general themes of your reading. Okay, so we have um, the Mercury Retrograde card. Um, so with it usually comes um, a lot of reinvention. It's kind of like, kind of messes stuff up to sort itself out again, um, especially to do with communication um, and kind of the way things work. So anything with like moving parts. Um, the sixth house is actually ruled by Mercury um, and Virgo. Um, so these two obviously have a lot of similarities in energy. Um, the sixth house has a lot to do with like our everyday routine and like our work and health and um, all of our like kind of daily habits. Um, it definitely brings out the more analytical side of Mercury given that, um, yeah, it's ruled by Virgo. So it's like <laughs> kind of like taking your health very seriously and um, like <sighs> being very like kind of more intelligent, I would say. Um, then we have the Sun card, which has a lot to do with our spirit. Um, it rules the fifth house um, and Leo. Um, so the fifth house has a lot to do with like pleasure, fun, creativity, um, like making babies <laughs> and stuff like that. Um, Leo is obviously a very like bold and creative energy. Um, he's like, Leo is kind of like the show um, person of the Zodiac, like they're the center of attention. They're the um, like celebrity, I would say, archetype. <laughs> but let's get a little bit more specific using this traditional tarot. My um, cat came and sat on my lap as I was like reshuffling. So I'm just seeing like all these like little cat hairs appearing from everywhere. It's always a good sign when a cat wants um, to come sit with you when you're doing a reading usually that means like the energy is like super like psychic and woo woo um so i'm guessing that pile two you might be this kind of like woo woo kind of vibe the only thing is though like she has lots of like <laughs> dust and things trapped in her fur so it can make me a little bit more like sneezy and stuff because i'm like really allergic to like pollen and dust I'm just like so sensitive so I apologize if it's made my breathing so much worse in this reading I literally just can't say no to leather so I put her on the chair next to me to have a little snooze because having her on my lap while I'm trying to read is just too much of an inconvenience Ooh. Okay, very interesting so far. We clarify this three of cups energy too. <coughs> yeah, that's what you get. That's what you get when you're highly allergic and you let your cat sit on you. Can we clarify this three of pentacles energy too, please? Such a mistake. <laughs> so much regret. Pile two, they see you as out of their league, like so out of their league. <laughs> like I'm just getting like major, they're out of my league vibes from this spread <laughs> based on how the cards turned out. Um, so this Four of Wands is like traditionally the marriage card. It's about harmony. Um, it's a um, air, uh, Venus in <laughs> Aries energy. So um, like really the meeting of two individuals in like complete balance and harmony. It's like um, the first house and the seventh house. So it's like just hella like you can tell that it's a marriage card um but essentially they see you as this queen of wands like this really like witchy powerful um kind of energy the queen of wands is like 
Pisces and Aries. So like she's the start and the end of the Zodiac. She's a, it, like the like witch archetype. She's very powerful, very similar to the high priestess energy. And they, your person thinks like, because you're so much of this energy that essentially you're out of their league and they're never going to be able to like essentially be on your level um, and be your teammate when it comes to like a long-term commitment like they see you as having so much more to offer them than they have to offer you um but they i think this might be coming like more from a place of like lack and story rather than reality like i think this person just has a lot of healing to do um and a lot of like faith to kind of reignite in themselves um because like this person's like pretty sure that this is a divine counterpart connection so like a twin flame or soulmate connection or just like really important in some way and they know that they that um this relationship can definitely be a vehicle for change for them when it comes to like awakening and being much more aligned um to their true self and their happiness and um what like kind of really fills them up emotionally um but yeah, they're just like kind of really struggling with like doubt and lack and like feeling like you're out of their league. But like, even though that's kind of like in, in the forefront of their mind, kind of in the back of their mind or like more on a like higher level of themselves, they see themselves as like your perfect person, like your divine counterpart and just like... Yeah, like they definitely see the potential in this connection. They're just like <laughs> really like at the moment overcome with a lot of stories about you being out of their league and like them not necessarily being able to like match that energy, at least right now. But I think once this person does a lot of healing, like they can definitely get on your level. Like I see potential for them to get on your level. I do agree with them a little bit right now in terms of maybe they're not quiet where you are like there's just a little bit of blockage and healing which I think is why this tower card came out to indicate that they just like kind of need to do a little bit of work to um at least like be really aware of their stories and like challenge them and um like kind of ignite that um kind of like inner fire and discipline that they would need to uh, like kind of match you uh, they definitely see you as very, like, supportive. The Three of Cups, like, threes in Kabbalah Tarot is, like, kind of the divine feminine and, like, harmony and, um, like, often, like, reflection and contemplation. So they definitely see you as very um, supportive and, like, easy to get along with. Um, they see you as definitely very intuitive um, and... Yeah, the moon definitely represents, like, the divine feminine um, as well as, like, intuition and, um, like, the unconscious. Um, so they definitely feel like you're very connected to the unconscious and, um, like, very, like, spiritual and intuitive um, and, like, just a great support system for the people that you care about. Like, you obviously put, on, put in a lot of time with the people that um, matter to you. Um, and like, I think like practically you're very supportive. You're very willing to collaborate with other people and like make a lot of room for different points of view and like different approaches to doing things. Um, like they see you as very, um, uh, like very much a team player. Um, and they know that you want to like be on a team with them, but yeah, there's just a lot of, um, kind of like doubt and lack in themselves in terms of like being able to show up in that energy and like I said I think it's more of a story for them like they just like I'm getting some like self-esteem issues that they need to like kind of really challenge and heal um before you guys can actually like realize some of this three of cups and three of pentacles energy before you guys can actually support each other um like practically and emotionally like they definitely need to um at least be like so aware of those stories that they're not like kind of like lost in it like I'm getting that they're kind of really believing that those stories are true rather than them being um predicated on like past pains and like 
stuff that they were kind of like indoctrined into as like children like there was obviously someone in their life that um, didn't make them feel that great about themselves um, and really doubt themselves and yeah just like now they're kind of like in that like self-loathing because of like past patterns rather than um, truths but I think maybe one of the reasons why they think of you as like divine counterpart energy is because you're probably showing them a lot of those things like you're probably mirroring a lot of that to them and they're becoming more aware of that stuff just by um like kind of connecting with you like you're kind of like m making um how the past and how the their unconscious mind contributes to all this stuff um and so they're kind of like stopping blaming themselves quite as much because um you're kind of like reflecting back to them almost exactly what they need in, in order to be like just like more aware and in control of their like stuff and know that it's not actually about them but was about the people that they were surrounded with when they were young um yeah like this they definitely see you as like just amazing like there's a lot of um love and um just like admiration here um this mercury retrograde card could indicate potentially them reaching out to you during this separation um if you're in one um because we are in a mercury retrograde right now and sometimes there's like backslides in terms of communication um so yeah don't be surprised if you hear from them um at some point um I would say though that if you do hear from them it'll be like a little backslidey thing and might not necessarily be kind of reigniting this connection if you guys are in separation um, because it seems like they still have a bit of like work to do. Um, um, I'm actually hearing that um, that's not everyone here like that is a fair majority of people here but for some people here um, your person's actually done a lot of healing and they're just kind of like this is more like of a cold feet thing rather than a um like a thing that still needs to be healed it's kind of like almost like a um yeah it's like a cold feet in terms of like coming like returning to you for this like kind of reinvention energy um so yeah i'm hearing that there's definitely a mix of people here and some people here will definitely be like maybe early in separation and have a bit more healing to do and others who have potentially been in separation for a lot longer like maybe a year or two years or um even longer than that like this might be like more cold feet energy um and just like not knowing how to kind of come back in um because i think this six south of routine really indicates that for some people here there's like been a huge shift in terms of the way this person lives their life um so yeah i'd say there's definitely a combination but let's get some oracles to see what else spirit has for you pile two okay so we have look in a book whether your question whatever your question is right now you'll find your answer in your book the words you find will bring you the insight you seek. I think for everyone here, there's potentially some learning that um, you might be being called to um, pursue in this time. Um, and there's some sort of understanding that your guides want you to arrive at before this connection reignites. I'm getting like pretty heavy separation energy for the, the majority of people here but if that's not you um then maybe there's just like maybe that um kind of like cold feet energy is just your person like kind of having cold feet about moving into the next step with you the next phase um and this look in a book energy will be about um learning some stuff so that the two of you feel comfortable moving forward um but let's see what the love oracles have Oop. okay so we have um hand of cards like someone potentially not showing their hand right now um but wanting to take a chance in the future um 
this kind of like new phase um, and rekindling growth um, transformation kind of energy as well as this ascension energy. It seems like the two of you have been doing um, a lot of like ascending and healing and growing and like a potentially getting ready for a new phase. It seems like de definitely what I was saying before in terms of this um, four of wands energy in reverse. Like for some people here, you'll be your person's like kind of getting cold feet. Um, and for others of you, it's like more of a like feeling like you're out of their league kind of energy. But I think for everyone here, like definitely what's on their mind is like this eternal um, commitment, um, union, um, and engagement and long term partnership. They definitely want to um, like propose to you for sure. Um, and then we also have this heavy like attraction. Um, and kind of like wanting to woo you energy. Um, and so they really just need to be confident in themselves so that they can really embrace that and um, act on it. But let's see what else we have. Discernment. So there may be um, a need for everyone here to like practice some discernment when it comes to um what's next in this connection i'd say for like because there's such a mix of energy here like you're probably having to be discerning like lots of messages even within this reading um in terms of like what's for you and what's not for you and how to like kind of apply these messages to your situation um i think this discernment energy may have a lot to do with like knowing where to find the information that you need to like kind of clear old energy and like really start in this new phase um so we have we have a bit here we have resistance so i think um your person might be um resisting this connection a little bit in terms of like you feeling a little bit out of their league and they're kind of like i'm getting for because a lot of you are seeing like you're in separation like maybe they're a little bit resistant in coming forward because they're afraid <laughs> of rejection um but they're definitely hungry for it and i think that their hunger will override that resistance at some point like at some point the scales will about let tip the other way and they'll just like kind of like be like oh i have to do it um and like when you do this is a hot moon so this is kind of like i had uh, associate this with like kind of heavy sexual energy like i definitely get very sexual vibes from it so you guys will probably just like i'm hearing just like essentially won't get out of bed like when you guys do reconnect um but yeah it'll be time for you to like really create a very beautiful life with each other um when it does happen yeah it'll be like definitely this like new phase a win-win outcome is forecast yeah it looks like there's like really good things coming for you guys um and this is what I was talking about before in terms of the scales, like tipping the other way, like at some point, like their resistance is just like not going to be strong enough to like keep them away from like coming in with this um, engagement offer and like kind of eternal union offer. Yeah, so definitely don't worry about it. It's like set in stone, essentially. Yeah, all the hard work that the two of you been, have been doing on healing is paying off. I think for the people here that have been in separation for a lot longer and the person's like maybe done a bit more healing. Um, yeah, it's like everything's paying off and things are kind of like starting to come to a head. But let's get an affirmation for you guys. Can we get an affirmation for pile two, please? Oh, I'm so sorry that you guys have had to listen to me sniveling this whole time. It's so embarrassing. <clears throat> Come on. Affirmation, please. Please. This deck is always, like, the slowest for cards to come out. <sighs> okay, so we have... I choose to think positively because I know that I'm a manifestation of my thoughts. So, yeah, pay, like, heavy attention to your thoughts in this time for both of you. Your person definitely needs to pay attention to their thoughts and make sure they're not getting too caught up in story. Um, but yeah, I'd say for both of you, really focusing on listening to your thoughts and being really conscious of them and 
um, like guiding them to like essentially what you want um, so that you can manifest more of what you want instead of more of what you don't want. Um, so yeah, being really conscious about that in this time. But pile two, I think I'm going to leave that there. I hope you got everything out of this reading that you really wanted and needed today. Um, it has been a pleasure reading for you. My name is Jade Rewilding and I'll be on this channel doing intuitive tarot card readings for whenever you need it, guys. Um, so if you can like, comment and subscribe, that'll help me stay on your feed, which I would really appreciate so that I can read for you again very, very soon. Until then, ciao. Hey there, pal three. Welcome to your reading for how your person is seeing you or perceiving you right now. Um, so if you chose this beautiful blue crystal, then this reading is probably for you. However, it is a general reading, so <laughs> taking what resonates, leave what doesn't, um, and meditate on the rest, because there will be some messages here for specific people and some interpretations of the cards that might need to be slightly altered for your situation if it deviates a little bit more from the collective energy than um, most of everyone else's. Um, but let's get some themes about... How your person is perceiving you right now okay so these are basically really good cards um so we have the destiny card good sign obviously feel like you're their destiny um they also see you as a revolution for them um probably in terms of like spirituality and um maturity and like um all that sort of like really good stuff and then we have the Black Moon Lilith card. So this is like like very much high priestess energy. Lilith was said to be in the Garden of Eden before was said to be in the Garden of Eden with Adam before Eve. So she's like essentially the first feminine archetype um, before Eve, um, before um, she became tainted with the world, um, the world's ideas about women. Um, so it's much more like powerful, knowing your boundaries, like witchy, um, and less so the kind of like mother like that eve is and the more like feminine florally um feminine um this is more of like kind of the dark witchy feminine like yeah so yeah beautiful cards i rate them i rate this energy but let's get a little bit more specific using this traditional tarot We get more specific messages for okay yeah so it seems like your person definitely sees you as the empress energy as well they must see you as like very well rounded Pile three, your person is seeing you as a um, instigator of healing for them, especially to do with abandonment wounds and potentially some emotional unavailability. You coming in with this like Empress Black Moon Lilith, like really well-rounded um, divine feminine energy to them has felt very, very healing. The Empress herself is like a very nourishing um, energy. She's kind of like the eternal mother. Um, in the archetype of the eternal queen um, and like she is so like loving and nurturing and nourishing that she has the power to heal a lot of wounds and it seems like your person has had maybe some either abandonment or rejection wounds um, and definitely some um, ways that they were emotionally unavailable in the past they definitely never saw themselves as kind of like a passionate romantic energy like I'm getting that they probably like thought that people being romantic was like a bit lame <laughs> like they were just like oh not me um but 
definitely after encountering you, they were like, oh, no, like, I changed my mind. Like, I definitely can vibe with this, like, kind of passionate romance energy um, as well. They, like, um, weren't really that interested in, um, like, trying to make things work with anyone. Like, they were kind of, like essentially letting things go really quickly and this probably had to do with their abandonment and rejection wounds they're probably like trying to let people go before like they were rejected or abandoned in some way but like definitely now you've inspired them to be a lot more resilient um and to kind of put up with a lot more in relationship and you you've inspired them to want to um kind of stick things out to see where things go whereas before they would be just like super quick to shut everything down and just like give up on things because they were just like no not for me not like going to run the risk of like any sort of like abandonment or rejection they were just like so emotionally unavailable and had so many walls but you've been like super stable and consistent with all of the love that you've given them and they really attribute that to them changing their tune and creating this like solar eclipse revolution um and that's definitely probably why they see you as their destiny as well because like just the shift that you created in them like they think that's for a reason um because like you really made them believe in love like i'm getting that in the past they were like kind of emotionally stunted when it came to love um they're definitely trying not to um like give out too much love just in fear that it wouldn't be reciprocated um but you like kind of constantly came back to them with like matching their energy when whatever um they put out you would give back to them um this eight of pentacles energy is sun in virgo so it's like a very usually has to do with like learning and um like uh like applied to kind of purpose and practical um desires um so it definitely feels like you taught them a lot about kind of how to love and how to give love um in a way that they were just like really not familiar with um because essentially like you encourage them to like surrender this need for control like I'm getting from this chariot card that they just like wanted to control everything so that they would never really be hurt and um never be abandoned um and they just had so many emotional walls up um but like your real stability and consistency and nourishment like made them want to like surrender all of that and like stop trying so hard to control situations and to avoid pain because they're actually creating a lot of pain for themselves by um like trying to avoid being hurt like they were hurting themselves way way worse than anyone else ever could because they were cutting themselves off from so much love um and so i think now they're probably going through this big kind of transition judgment like i think of as kind of like judge judgment day like kind of like destroying lots of things and like being reborn anew um so yeah, you definitely made them want to surrender control and like let go into this like transformation and revolution energy um, and just like changing their life essentially. Um, I would not say that this has been easy for them thus far and I'm not really getting an indication of whether this is a separation or a union or any of that and I think there's probably a mix of people here but like regardless of your situation, they're probably like right now probably going through a bit of a tough time with like trying to rewrite their past and like heal a lot of their past pains because a lot of this is like very deeply ingrained pattern in them right now and yes like you definitely inspire them to be very different and be way more open to love but yeah I'm getting that this will be a bit of a process um and it will take time for them so it's really important that you like a patient with them um obviously like take care of yourself like bring out this black black moon lilith high priestess energy like if there's boundaries that you need to set um in order to like protect yourself and keep yourself safe especially your heart safe like do it for sure like you're not here for the healing of anyone else like you've got to like look out for you too but yeah definitely important that you give this person a lot of um patience and love 
um, right now because they need it. Um, but I think your person definitely perceives you as having really pure intentions and that's probably why they um, were so inspired to um, like move towards love for the first time really in their life. Um, yeah, they could just tell that you had this really like pure energy and like you really just cared about seeing them um, at their best and in their greatest good. Um, and like, yeah, like they, they can tell that you're definitely different and that you care a lot more about them than other people have in the past. And, um, it seems like this person just had a lot of wounds, a lot of ways that they'd been stabbed in the back by people from their past. Like they'd been through so much pain. Um, and a lot of it felt like pretty much a personal attack, even though a lot of it was like about the other person and not about your person per se. Um, but they're kind of learning all about that now. And like, they really want to start a new phase and, and a transformation and growth. Um, the Phoenix is like kind of that Harry Potter vibe of like, completely destroying yourself and like being reborn from the ashes which is like very similar to this judgment energy like that's definitely what they're going through right now and it's definitely their passion for you and the chemistry um between the two of you that's like really driving them through this time like that's kind of really what's grounding them and getting them through it in a lot of ways <clears throat> um so this coffee cup's about like feeling uplifted and um feeling camaraderie it can also indicate like a physical um connection and like meeting to have a conversation so if you are in separation like your person probably wants to communicate some things to you at some point um but for anyone else they're like really savoring all the lessons that you've been teaching them they're feeling uplifted by your presence um so yeah know how much you mean to them um and how much all of this that you've taught them has meant to them. They're definitely perceiving you as their like healer. We get, yeah, you've created like a desire for them to self reflect and like understand themselves. And like, um, they probably learned how to self reflect from seeing you self reflect, to be honest. Um, and they definitely want to blossom because they see you as blossoming. Um, yeah, you've inspired a lot of good within them. Uh, and they definitely see you as kind of like the source of all the good in their life. <laughs> I'm getting... Do we have anything else for pile three, please? Yeah, communication is key. As I was saying before with this coffee cup card, like... There's probably going to be a need for the two of you to communicate. If you are together, probably soon. If you're not together, like, could be kind of any time. This is new moon energy. So it could be when they, like, feel like they're in this, like, new phoenix phase energy that they'll reach out to communicate. Um, but, yeah, I think, as I was saying before, it's really important for you to be patient with them right now. Um, this disseminating moon um, messages take time to breathe out. So, like really like let things be let things sit right now let them do what they got to do and you do what you got to do because um yeah like patience in terms of like writing out what's going on between the two of you right now it's going to be really important <sighs> okay so we've got i am welcoming positive change as a opportunity to expand my being that's definitely how they're seeing this connection i cleanse my entire being i'm free from negative energy like you're definitely cleansing energy for this person from their past and i release all that confines me i set myself free yeah so i think this has a lot to do with the walls we were talking about earlier like they realized that they'd caged themselves so much that they actually had blocked all the love out of their life and now they're like really like setting themselves free for the first time from all of that um, so yeah, it's going to be like an intense time for them. Um, but I think I'm going to leave that there, pile three. I hope you got everything out of this reading that you really wanted and needed. Um, it has been a pleasure reading for you. Um, if you can like, comment and subscribe, I would really appreciate it because it would help me stay on your feed for more intuitive tarot card readings like this. Um, uh oh, my rings are stuck. This is what happens when you 
wear lots of rings and some of them are <laughs> not closed. Anyway, um, uh, that might be some sort of symbolism you can take that as, especially because this is like crescent moon, which is like feminine energy. Um, so yeah, that, yeah, that link could be a thing take it as as it resonates um, or leave it if it doesn't um, but anyway <laughs> with all that said um, I hope to see you again on my channel very very soon but until then ciao